else. Thank you. Well, city crews and businesses across the triad, they are on alert this evening. Many eyes are on the radar as we brace for what could be a serious round of wet weather Tuesday, including possible flooding. Fox 8's Madison Forsey crisscrossed the area talking to crews to learn what they're focusing on to prepare. Yeah, like you guys mentioned, Chad, Charles, Natalie, it's about the rain. The ground that I'm standing on right now is pretty mushy, and that's why emergency personnel are worried about some roadway flooding. I'm standing here next to US 29 at Headquarters Drive. This is a well-known problem area where a lot of standing water will pool up. In fact, it's so bad that the emergency personnel that I talked to, there used to be a Guilford County EMS base here in this building, and they say that they've seen the floodwaters go all the way up to the bay doors. Now, if you come into contact with those floodwaters, or you're driving in your car on your way to work tomorrow morning, the best thing that you should do is to turn around and avoid it if at all possible. Now, the main problems that EMS personnel are worried about getting calls about tomorrow, they're worried about traffic accidents with that rain, wind, standing water on the roadway, but they also know that they're going to get a fair amount of medical calls. If the power goes out, a lot of people relying on medical devices that use that power need to think about a backup plan battery options right now. Now today for emergency personnel was really about getting prepared, talking not just with other EMS, but also with fire, police in the city to make sure everyone's on the same page no matter what happens tomorrow. We're pretty well staffed tomorrow, so we have not brought anybody in or, or put anybody extra on standby. We've got those resources available if the, the need exists. Also from an emergency management standpoint, uh, we're not planning on activating the operations center at this point, but all those folks are, are always uh, kind of in an active standby role. So in case. We also caught up with public works crews in Winston-Salem today who were concerned about the flooding. Jet vat, jet vat crews of around four and curb line crews spent the day getting leaves and other debris out of storm drains and culverts. They mainly focused on low-lying areas around the city, including the area you're seeing along Peace Haven Drive. Public works leaders say if they don't clear them, the water builds up quickly and they are still in the thick of leaf collection season. Now ahead at six, how power companies like United Energy and Duke Power are preparing to keep your lights on and why they say this storm could be a little bit more challenging than others that they've seen in past Januaries. For now in Greensboro, Madison 4C, Fox 8 News.